My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Air de Cologne by Chanel. This is all they had when I went down there. There's a reason why I got this. This is 131 for 75 mil, 238 for 200 mil. Eau de Cologne is an iconic symbol of elegance and simplicity through the ages. Chanel proposes a exquisite interpretation with the shades of citrus and a whisper of neroli, airy and radiant. The notes are lemon, bergamot, citruses, green notes, neroli, pettigrain, spicy notes, musk and tonka bean. Do we have our enormous brick of a bottle of Eau Cologne by Chanel? Are we engaged with the higher self? Let's get testing. So the reason why I bought this is because I thought it'd be different. I've reviewed more mainstream Chanel's, but I've never, I think I've reviewed Le Lion and I haven't reviewed anything else. I kind of just really wanted to, because I don't want to review the same stuff. I'm expecting from this light, airy, aquatic, natural, classic, timeless unisex. I'd be very, very disappointed if it, if it didn't have that. So I love this, but, and there's a caveat, is it's not long lasting. It's really nice, super refreshing, smells timeless, smells clean, fresh, but there isn't the sort of longevity on it. To increase longevity within a fragrance, you do fixatives and lots of other things. You would completely change the effect on this, actually. Sweet, clean, Neroli, when used in a formulation, is outrageously expensive. And Neroli is the distilled essence of the orange flower blossoms. So they only flower once a year and they have to be picked at a certain time and then they are put through the distillation equipment. And then you get, they are the very expensive. I think it is the most expensive citrus. But Neroli in a formulation is a beautiful top note. And it is giving this top note with sort of the bergamot and other supporting citruses. It's just really really gorgeous it has a sweet clean linen smell and that is from the linalool and acetate compounds supporting compounds in there this is quite a simplistic formulation but when you are utilizing a lot of naturals a lot of expensive naturals you kind of don't want to go in with your fruit acetates and your cumarin and your fixatives and all of this sometimes it's beautiful to allow nature to speak for itself and this smells so natural and so it's just so beautiful and they have supported the citruses within this i would love if this was just had much more longevity i've reviewed the mason rice's kurdishan the silver and gold, and the all of them. If they could take this and support it with the way that he does, I kind of would think it would be, oh my God, it would just be amazing. I love the sweetness, the cleanness, the softness, the brightness. I think it's really, really gorgeous actually. On to my final thoughts. I kind of think I said it all really, trying to summarize and then go through my final marks with you. Chanel, super professional, really great house. They haven't released anything for a while, have they? I'd love them to release something new. So Safe Legal Compliant, super professional company. It's what we like. I love this, I think it's really gorgeous. It's kind of where I started with my journey, which was much, much more natural. So I had a Neroli fragrance and I had a Cedarwood and Bergamot fragrance. They were based on, on sort of naturals. I think it's gorgeous. It's, it reminds me of fresh white linen in the breeze. It's airy, light, and breezy. Heady own, just gorgeous. Heady own uh, linen oil, the acetates, sort of citruses and Neroli. It's very, very nice. But the longevity is kind of not there for me. And that's where I kind of feel um, sad, actually, because I'd like to enjoy it a bit more. So I'm going to say 9 out of 10. I kind of love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's classic Chanel. I think it's absolutely amazing. If you're looking for a cologne, I thoroughly recommend it. I think it's very, very nice. The way to fix this would be to put my carbon fragrance underneath or to put a body moisturizer on. If you put a body moisturizer on and then spray this on the top, you might get more longevity. Very nice, but um, very inoffensive, very nice, very sweet fragrance. There's a very sweet nature, but the longevity is not too good. If the longevity is better, I'd love it and give it a 10. So we love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.